maybe what I can offer more to this crowd is the work that we do with businesses in getting them to actually be remote ready and what it looks like when you're managing people in a, in a distributed team or in a hybrid team and what that looks like around um, well, pretty much our key things that we talk to on that um, a communication systems and processes yeah. that yeah. Can be in place before then and also culture and how you develop, maintain, create company culture that um, goes, like that doesn't include after work drinks on Fridays. Remote doesn't work, doesn't play out anymore. We can't really use that, but what um, is the legit challenges that we're seeing is that people are like, okay, this has been forced on us. Um, yes, well, outside of Victoria, we've got some mobility back but um, it wasn't all horrible lockdown. It wasn't all awful. What are the good things that we can take out of the, the remote global experiment that we did? And what are the things that we want to hold on? And this will be a case by case per organisation. Like what were the good things? What were the things that you want to keep? And what can you use um, out of this and the way that you then run your business can it doesn't matter what product or service you're selling you can actually use how you employ people and how you run your team as a marketing and sales angle mm. so I think that's where we're finding it um, with our clients is that a lot of them actually really promote quite heavily that they've used us that they're employing rural professionals or that we've employed someone that lives in a drought or a fire affected area and look at what we're doing it's almost like a, a corporate social responsibility that an SME can do but use that in their in their promotion side of things as well.